Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for today. The Geek Out was brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. You can take control of your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. And with GoToAssist, you can keep all of your systems up and running while keeping all of your users supported at the same time. Provide live or unattended support from anywhere, even from your iPad. For a free 30-day trial, visit GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. According to our official Locker Gnome app, today's number one user is Josh Noyce. Of course, Shadow LA05 is a close second. Uh, will you be our number one community member tomorrow? Well, download the Locker Gnome app. The link is in the video description. And the cool thing is, the more you share our content, the more points you get. So participate. And if status isn't enough for you, well, we're giving away a six month Loot Crate subscription every week to one random person who shares all of this week's LockerGnome.com articles. And if you want, you can use the code Locker Gnome and save 10% on a Loot Crate subscription right now. If I seem a bit frazzled to you today, it's because I just got back from 1940. I took a, a time machine. I uploaded that video to my Google Plus and Facebook account and so you can watch me do my thing, as well as doing an unboxing, a special unboxing that I didn't do on YouTube. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I I'm better off knowing that I'm better off in the year 2012 than I would have been in 1940. Watch the video. I, I, I placed a link for it in the description. No, Chris, we didn't come here to click links to watch videos. We came here to watch videos. Well, you click the link somehow, just click another link. What's it gonna hurt? What are you going to be doing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific? You're gonna be tuned into our YouTube channel because we're streaming live. We're going to be discussing Apple's series of announcements, not broadcasting the keynote. We are not legally able to do that. I, mean, I suppose illegally we could do it, but I don't want to go into that territory. Either way, we hope you join us. Uh, we've already uploaded uh, the, the uh, bit where you could click to see the countdown for the live event, and the link is in the video's description. Of course, I tweeted it out and posted it to Facebook and Google+, so hopefully you're paying attention. GoDaddy was not hacked. How a tweet caused a media panic. It's easy to publish information. Now, whether or not that's valid information, well, not many people really care about that. I mean, it's just like slagging GoDaddy as a company. Well, they're GoDaddy. Well, yeah, there are a lot of companies out there. Yeah, but they do things differently. Well, there are a lot of companies who do things differently. I don't like them. Okay, good for you. You know, if you went by uh, the uh, moral compass of any particular company leader, I'd bet that you wouldn't support many of the companies that you currently support. Just don't be a hypocrite, that's all. And, and when it comes to spreading information, this is one of the reasons why I do not generally like talking about rumors. It's like spreading misinformation, and that can hurt. I mean, just because you can push information out there doesn't mean you should. No rumors. Why video game journalism is failing us. Journalists are there to report the facts. But are they being unfair to new video games? I mean, if a video game comes along and it's not revolutionary, does that mean it's bad? No. If it's derivative, it may still be a good game for what it is, unless it's like a cheap knockoff. But do you listen to journalists when they write reviews? I'm not a journalist. Not, not even uh, close, really. Uh, I'm not really a blogger. I'm just, you know, someone who likes talking about stuff. I'm a talker. Uh, I, I think, really, y you gotta cut these game developers some slack. Uh, you know, if the game really, really genuinely sucks on its own, not compared to anything else, then there's something to be said about, you know, writing it up and, uh, you know, really lambasting it. Uh, and using the word lambast, too. I, I think that's a word that we are not using frequently enough. Uh, but it just seems that uh, video game journalism, at least according to Candace, the, the person who authored this uh, particular article, uh, is, is taking a turn for the worse. Have you ever written a video game review? What video game reviews do you appreciate more than others, and why? Robot suit helps wheelchair-bound walk. Wow, that is really amazing. Can you imagine a day where we don't necessarily have to rely on wheelchairs to get around, when we can have this type of mobility? I think that day is, well, it's kind of here. Uh, and this is good. Technology is improving lives, where otherwise our lives would be interrupted. This is the type of technology that I love talking about and looking at and researching and sharing information on. This changes lives. Does a new phone change lives? Eh, to a certain degree. Does this change lives? Absolutely. I'm not mad. Just emphatic. How to collect movie prop replicas. Do you guys collect stuff? 
I, I have, you know, a handful of items around my home office, but nothing from the movies, at least not that I know of. Okay, I'm reminded of the uh, uh, Big Bang Theory episode where they find a, a replica of, of uh, the ring, you know, one of the rings. Actually, it was a movie prop. I don't know if it was a replica. It was, it was a real prop, allegedly, from the movies. Uh, it was a good episode. Anyway, um, no, I, I've never collected them. I've never even thought about it, but I'm glad to know that we now have a guide uh, for getting into this. And you know what? That could be lucrative. You're looking for a way to make money? Figuring out how to do that stuff? Don't fear failure. Don't waste time. One of the things that I definitely love sharing with people is help, uh, you know, with the, their business efforts. This is one of the reasons I started nomies.com. Uh, and the number one thing I, I, I tell them, and I even mentioned this in the vlog the other day in, in an ancillary way. It was more personal, but it, it could apply to business too. Um, and technology, certainly. You're going to fail 99 times and succeed that one time out of 100. And technology is much the same way. For every 99 programs or apps that you try, one may work well. It's the same thing with hardware. 99 products are going to suck. That one is going to be, in your mind, uh, successful. And that's just something to remember, you know, uh, success is relative. Uh, what you do with your time is really uh, a testament to the quality of your life. Don't waste your time. That's really the only thing you have. We've also got a review posted on Sony Movie Studio 12 Platinum Suite. Wondering if it's worth it? Uh, it might very well be. Uh, Sony is still cranking away. Personally, I use Final Cut Pro and iMovie right now. I'm recording this video live by way of iMovie to a MacBook Pro, but uh, you know that Sony software's for Windows users. And hey, we love you, no matter if you use uh, a, a version of Linux, Windows, or OS X, or none of the above. But I'm guessing you use one of those. And you probably have some video editing software that you like. And I hate editing video. I'm not even editing this video. Creighton is. Good job, Creighton. Give, give, him a, give him a round of applause. Come on, invisible audience. Let's go. Let's go. Stereotypes. Geeks versus artists. So when someone calls you a geek, what do you feel? I mean, not what you think. What? How do you feel? I mean, if someone calls me a geek, I'm like, yeah! I remember the time in eighth grade, uh, I was singing a Weird Al Yankovic song. And actually, I was... It wasn't even, a, it was his song, it was a, a parody, uh, it, was, it was one of his polkas from uh, Polka Party, that album that had just been released, and I was singing it like that, uh, like Al would have done, and someone turned to me, a, a girl, and said, you're weird, and I said, thank you, and that was the first time I accepted my geekiness, and I don't fall into that stereotype, or at least I don't try to, I just kind of am and if people lump me into that category geek, cool. I call myself a geek because that's really the best label I have for me. And then that, you know, forces me into mental boxes that people create for me. And that gets complicated and all that. But, uh, you know, I don't generally like falling into a stereotype. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I am myself. You are yourself. But uh, as we observe, you know, stereotypes can be both good and bad. Do you consider yourself a geek? Do you fit the geek stereotype. Uh, and, and I'm asking this because I guess it's kind of an informal pull of the audience. Um, if you do, how do you feel you fit that stereotype? Me? I'm just passionate about the things that I love. Like you. I'm passionate about loving you. Loving you is easy because you're... Well, I don't know if you're beautiful. Big Think versus Ted. You may have heard of Ted before, but had you heard of Big Think? I know one of our commenters had not. And this is a, a series of, well, speeches that you can watch right now online and be inspired. People are doing amazing things. You want to talk about geeks, even if they don't consider themselves geeks. They know their subject. They are very intelligent and generally passionate. That, to me, is geek. And I would say Ted and Big Think uh, are creating content that is not just loved by geeks, but done by geeks themselves. So uh, it's certainly something you may want to check into if you have not yet already. Facebook Zuckerberg. Going HTML5 was a strategic mistake. Really? I'm still waiting for my Facebook app to load. Actually, I'm not. I have the new version, which is slightly faster. There's a new YouTube app for iPhone and iPod Touches available, and an iPad version is on its way, according to Google themselves, and we knew this was coming. Uh, the iOS YouTube app has sucked uh, for a long time, 
And largely because Apple controlled it. Yes, I, I'm pretty much saying that Apple sucks. At least as far as that YouTube app was concerned. I downloaded it immediately. If you haven't yet, give it a shot. It's fun. It's YouTube. Uh, it's easy. Uh, and it will hopefully allow you to discover more content that you're... Oh, look at that. I'm interested in that. Well, that's that's a video of me. I'm not so interested in that. But there's a Lego video right there. I'm, I'm definitely interested in that. Oh, Eddie Izzard. Is, is, is Izzard. Izzard. I'm interested in that too. Wow. YouTube knows me so well. Download the app! Windows Store now open to all developers in 120 markets. This is good news. Uh, now all we need are some Windows 8 devices. And we'll see if anybody buys anything. Or what they buy. Or what they download. I think this is good news. I I'm kind of excited. Yes. I am. Y it has nothing to do with Apple. That's Microsoft, man. Although I am cheesed off at someone at Microsoft, they filed a DMCA complaint against one of our, our uh, articles on LockerGnome.com. We were talking about an earlier build of Windows, and uh, Google initiated the request. They did a takedown, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Every bit of content on this page is legit. I took the screen cap and posted it to Google+. I wasn't happy about that, so I was a little disappointed in Microsoft, or at least whoever did that. I don't know why. I hate being, like, seen as guilty when I'm innocent, right? You know, it should be the other way around. I'm innocent until proven guilty. Google makes 4,000 Boingo Wi-Fi hotspots free across the U.S. in September. Unless, of course, you have an iOS device or Windows phone. <laughs> funny, Google. Really funny. Look at that. I'm using Google Chrome. I was just using Google Plus a second ago. I like Google. Just that... I don't know why they did that. Apple Teeny, that's his username, on LockerGnome.net writes, I assume it's a he, do you have any thoughts on the Sonos wireless sound system or any other sound systems like it? Uh, I love the Sonos wireless sound system. They sent a few review units years ago and we use it pretty much every day. We have it connected in our uh, bedroom and then have it piped into the music, usually piped into the bathroom. Diana usually has it playing as she's putting on makeup and she loves it. Uh, easy to control. Uh, they've got great iOS uh, support. And uh, they support a variety of services that we use, primarily Pandora. So uh, if you're going to go with a wireless sound system, Sonos is pretty much the top. At least as far as my experience dictates. Rocket Nader from LockerGnome.net writes, Which would generate more heat inside and which would last me a longer period of time based on average usage? An all-in-one computer or a computer tower? Hmm. Depends on how each one was engineered. I mean, you're talking about an all-in-one computer. You're talking about the heat potentially from the screen as well as from the components. So hopefully there's a good uh, heat dissipation engineering going on in that particular system. A computer tower is a completely different beast, right? And you got a different airflow dynamic. Um, there's a possibility that a computer tower may generate or collect a lot more dust inside, which, of course, could compound any heat issues. Uh, you know, I, I'm of the mindset... And I could be alone that I think towers are going away. It's less about, you know, which is going to generate more heat because that, again, is going to be contingent on so many variables. I can't answer that question fully. But uh, I think towers are dying. I mean, they're just... Don't... Hey! Don't shoot the messenger, okay? Uh, you might dislike the fact that they're going away, but that doesn't change the fact that fewer people are interested in desktop computers. All... Hey! All-in-one devices are certainly prevalent, and I don't think they're going to disappear anytime soon. Those are the computers of the future. So, if you want to future-proof, if so, if you want to future-proof yourself, I'd probably go with an all-in-one. Unless you want to mod the crap out of it, then go with a tower. Alpha Mike from LockerGnome.net writes: Should I use WordPress, build a CMS from scratch over time, or spend the money on services like Squarespace? It depends. Uh, I'm currently on WordPress. I'm happy-ish. Not thrilled. Uh, Squarespace is better if you don't want to muck with code and you just want to produce content. You can produce good content, and the platform provides you the tools that you need to accomplish your goals. Uh, you could build a CMS from scratch. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that, unless you are a very skilled programmer. Uh, I would start with you know uh, WordPress and, and build your way from there. Uh, but if you're not a programmer at all, uh, I, I might actually recommend Squarespace, even though it's not very open as WordPress. You might not care. Thanks again for participating, guys. Thank you for commenting, asking questions, participating, sharing, liking. We love it all. 
We'll eat you later.